MIDI is the Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It acts as a remote control system for musical devices and related equipment. By connecting instruments together with MIDI cables, you can control one or more of them from a master keyboard or computer, for example. I won't go into all the details here, but with organs the main uses will probably be for connecting expander systems that make different sounds, such as Hauptwerk on an external computer, or for connecting a computer so that you can record and edit your performances in a more detailed way than when using the internal sequencer. Before we go any further, it's important to point out one crucial thing. MIDI does not carry audio information. It simply carries remote control instructions. So the MIDI information that's transmitted while you're playing simply represents which notes you played and when, as well as things like stop changes and expression pedal states. If you record such data on a computer, you aren't recording the sound of your performance, but something more like piano roll data. You can edit the lengths and pitches of the notes you played, for example, to correct mistakes in your performance. When you play back the MIDI information, it will control the organ so as to re-perform what was stored. MIDI was first introduced in the 1980s, so it uses a rather antiquated connector, the 5-pin DIN plug, although these days it can sometimes be carried over USB. You'll find three sockets on the panel that's usually located under the manuals, which also houses the volume controls, headphone socket and USB connectors. You'll need to get hold of properly wired MIDI cables to connect the organ to other devices, and probably a MIDI to USB interface like this one to connect it to the computer. MIDI in is used to receive remote control information from other devices, such as a computer or keyboard. MIDI out transmits the performance and control information generated by the organ itself, so you would connect this to the MIDI in of a receiving device. MIDI through is a loop through of the data coming in to the organ at the MIDI in, and this can be connected to further devices down the chain if needed. In order to make external devices work correctly with your organ, various MIDI settings may have to be made on both transmitting and receiving devices. This will ensure that the MIDI information controls the thing you want it to and not something else. The organ's MIDI setup is found at the bottom of the Utilities and MIDI menu. So if I scroll down to the third screen, you'll see that the first option here is TX and RX channel, which sets the transmit and receive channels for different divisions of the organ. If I press enter, you can see the transmit and receive channels for each of pedal, grate and swell on this two manual organ. There are 16 independent control channels on basic MIDI systems. And here you can see that pedal is set to four, grate to two, and swell to one for both transmit and receive. The receive column is here on the right. Choir would normally be set to three on a three manual model. You'll normally need to make sure that any external device connected to the organ is set to interpret these channels in the same way, in order that commands intended for the grate will be played on the grate and so forth. Channels 1 to 15 are available for external transmission on Viscount organs, with the 16th channel being used for internal transmission. You can see that the TX or transmit column has A and B options. At the moment, only the first of these is set, so each division only transmits on one channel. If you select the B column, you can enter a second transmit channel for any of the divisions. You might do this if you wanted to control two separate sound expanders from one manual, or perhaps a pipe organ interface as well. So here perhaps we'll set five for the second pedal channel. The next option on the Utilities and MIDI menu enables you to determine what MIDI information is blocked on transmission or reception by the organ. If something is not working, the channel numbers and these filters are the first place to look. 
So CC here is control change messages, which represent variable controls like expression pedal settings and divisional volume controls, as well as the selection of banks of voices. If I set either the TX or the RX columns to yes, then these messages are blocked in one direction or the other. PG is program change messages, which I will explain in a moment. SysX is system exclusive messages, which are manufacturer specific data that on these organs carry things like the stop or voice selected, tremolo settings, temperament, pitch, ensemble and coupler settings. Real time is mostly synchronization messages, which are not used much on these organs. The MIDI implementation chart at the back of the manual explains exactly what messages are sent and received for certain functions. Unless it's filtered, the control information I've just described is always transmitted by the organ, but MIDI notes are only transmitted if the MIDI stop for a particular division is turned on, and you can see there's one MIDI stop for each division of the organ. In the Setup menu, the Programmable Functions option contains two further MIDI settings. We have to scroll down to the bottom to find them. The first one determines whether to save the state of the MIDI output stops with organ combinations. The second one determines whether the MIDI output stops are cancelled with the cancel piston. When organ registration changes, different stops or voices are turned on and off. On FISIS organs, information about this is transmitted as MIDI system exclusive messages unique to Viscount. I have a MIDI monitor connected to the organ here, and you can see that as I turn stops on and off, different SysX codes are transmitted. They will be understood by other similar Viscount organs. And organ expanders like Hauptwerk have a Viscount console MIDI mode that should interpret them correctly. Hauptwerk also has a MIDI learn mode that can learn the messages sent by a Viscount organ for different functions if you want to customise the way it responds. You can set certain organ stops to be in so-called local off mode, which means that they will only send a MIDI message to an external device when drawn and not activate the internal voice. Press the set and cancel pistons together and you can see that all of the stop lights have come on, along with this message on the control panel. Turn off the stops that you only want to work in local off mode, so we'll turn off the second open diapason on the grate and then press S and C again in order to store the configuration. There's also a facility in the Utilities and MIDI menu that allows you to associate a MIDI program change message with a particular combination memory. You might use this to set an external expander to switch to a particular preset when that organ memory is recalled. To set this up, select the Program Change Send option in the Utilities and MIDI menu. It's not immediately obvious how this works, but you have to enter the program change message required in the first column under the relevant organ division. In this case, I'm going to set a value of two on the pedal division. Then you need to press set and the organ combination piston concerned. These can be stored with divisional, general and tutti memories. The message is sent immediately it's selected on this screen and also whenever that combination is recalled. You can also enter values in the bank select columns in order to select a particular voice bank on the expander along with the program change message. At the top of this screen, you can set whether the program change concern relates to the organ's transmit channel A or B, and you can have different program change values transmitted on both of these. Below this on the Utilities and MIDI menu is Pedal and Keyboard Touch. I explained how this works in Tutorial 5, so I won't go into detail here, except to repeat 
that it enables you to set how the MIDI note velocity information is mapped to the rate of key depression on the organ. This not only affects the MIDI output values, but also the internal organ touch response. The coupled notes function is next on the list. If this is set to no, but a coupler is on, for example, swell to great, only the great manual's note is transmitted, along with a sysx message indicating that swell to great is active. If set to yes, the organ sends notes coupled on another manual as separate MIDI messages. On organs with super and sub-octave couplers, an all option allows octave coupled notes to be transmitted as well. I've tried to give you a short tour of the main MIDI configuration options on Viscount's physis based organs. In practice, you'll probably have to fiddle around a bit with the devices concerned in order to get everything to work correctly. You can see, however, that it's possible to access most of the common setup functions from the internal control panel.